Absolutely, April. Yeah, let's talk about the process of a microburst. And you can see, look at the uh, video here, powerful storms with those microbursts, microbursts moving through overnight, very strong downdrafts from the thunderstorms. And sometimes you get the heavy rain with the microburst, sometimes you don't. But either way, those winds can be very powerful, sometimes winds up to 100, 150 miles an hour. Uh, yeah, and that is as strong as some tornadoes. In fact, microbursts are a lot more common around here than tornadoes, and certainly something that could be in the cards later today. So let's talk about how this process works for a microburst. Well, of course, in a thunderstorm, you get updrafts. So once that air starts to rise, it starts to condense. You get what's called condensation. It cools. Sometimes you get rain droplets forming. And then some of these rain drops will fall to the ground. Others will evaporate. And when evaporation occurs, that's when the atmosphere starts to cool. All that cool air drops like a rock right into the ground. And then you get these winds spreading out everywhere. Another way you can think of this is in terms of uh, density, a little density lesson. When you throw a heavy rock into the water, it sinks, and that's kind of a similar concept to this. Now, another thing I'm about to show you is the radar wind signature, and you'll notice these winds going in all directions. There's a very tight space where we have completely opposite directions for the wind speeds, and the radar signature basically shows you that. So when you see the bright red color near the bright green color, which you can see here on the west side of Phoenix, this is where one of the microbursts was last night, you can see that signature, a very, very tight gradient of contrasting colors, the red and the green showing you different wind directions. Now when we look at tornadoes, we often look at a similar situation, but sometimes in a tornado, the notches of these colors are a little bit tighter. So there's your uh, radar 101 lesson for today, but obviously we'll keep a close eye to the sky for the possibility of additional microbursts later on today and tonight. All right, Pete, thank you so much.